that I met in Athens. Nah, I, I I need to start learning how to give people shit. I don't really do it. Should I wear the headphones? Yeah. Got it here. Letters you out of the world. Rob's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what voice is that? Shock Jack Radio or something like that. Is Ooh. that is that your Silver Silver California? <laughs> we had a good time with Leah in the studio. <laughs> I hate, I've never done one of those shows where somebody had that voice. And then they it's didn't surprising. say something to piss me oh, off. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. That guy's. Well, I think that's the. Is that isn't that like what they're supposed to do? Is be a little. Yeah, annoying. but in, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> we got Rob here. He's got big bats on. Rob, what are these big bats doing? <laughs> Man, they. Uh, I was in Montana. And then the guy, he was like, yeah, a lot, a lot of girls in uh, Montana going to enjoy you. They're very chocolate thirsty. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. Ew, what? <laughs> chocolate <laughs> thirsty? Chocolate thirsty. They got a sweet tooth out here, Rob. Yeah. You're providing the chocolate this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's out here swinging chocolate at the improv. <laughs> That's great. Chocolate thirsty is Chocolate horrific. Chocolate thirsty, that is nasty. That is horrific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is like somehow more more terrifying than jungle fever, which right. is already a bad thing. Right, but at least jungle fever is a movie. Is like, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. there's like a mutual thing. Chocolate thirsty just feel you feel like, like you're being. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it sounds like there's gonna be girls like Ray. <laughs> oh my god. What? We got yeah, Sonic in the building. Dude. I love this song. <laughs> When this album first came out, I was giving Shonic a ride out here in L.A. We was listening to it. And we was like, <laughs> what if the audience? <laughs> well, we were like, we want to get an audience to scream like the lady screams. Yeah. At the <laughs> Turns out they'll only do that if they're chocolate thirsty. And then we channel We got Shonic in the building. Yeah. We got Rob A's in the building in Silmar, hey. California. Ladies, if your chocolate's thirsty, bling our line right now. <laughs> bling our line. Bling our line if your chocolate thirsty. It's almost too cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think yeah, he, he yeah. knows that. <laughs> well, thank you for having me, buddy. Yeah, thanks for You have a whole studio. It. How cool. I, this is not my studio. It's so sick that you bought a studio that's so sick. No, dude. no, 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 It's no, so no, sick no. you own a studio. No, I don't own Guys, anything. we're going to put the phone number up right now if you want to uh, come to Rob's studio. No, he owns wait. it. No, I don't. And I he don't. leases it to Kev on stage. You can... No, wait. What? That, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. So It's so funny because sometimes people will comment on like the podcast and they'll be like, and I thought Kevin was gonna come. Like I, I saw the background. I watched this whole That's conversation so funny. with these two people, and I'm like, Kevin never came. I love reluctantly <laughs> building a fan, fan base, right? Right. <laughs> Just so they know this backdrop. I guess I'll come back. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll come back next time. I don't know. <laughs> Only in minute 43 did I realize Kevin Kev was not they gonna. They never be even said Leo. Kevin's running late. <laughs> like. <laughs> He's on the way. As a fan, I just thought Kevin would be there, and I never <laughs> sensed his presence once. <laughs> That's really funny that you're building a fan base out, yeah. of, out of spite. <laughs> Sonny, are, are you are you a bulldog? Yeah, graduated you, you from UGA. Went to, you graduated from UGA. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, they played that at my graduation. <laughs> That's the sound they made when the did you do the the spring graduation? Mm-hmm. Did it? Oh, did wow. it in May? Wow! Official. Official. I walked yeah, on yeah. stage. For my, that's for my smaller one, not the yeah, big one. Yeah, that's not, yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, that, this guy's lying. No, they had me come Thousands up. Thousands of people do not walk on the stage. No, They're they have like, me. all right, stand up. <laughs> uh, Terry School of Business, stand up. Okay, yeah, that's what it sit was. down. All right. Did you graduate? You graduated. I graduated. I graduated in the summer, though. Oh, nice. Stegman uh, Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But then uh, they shot a thing with two graduates to tell them, like, like you officially 
officially graduated, I was one of the people. Oh. Because our advisor for the union was in charge of doing it. And so he had me Oh, do that. that's and cool. And I didn't tell anybody that I was going to be one of the people. And so my family was, like, surprised. And oh. Like, yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. so what did you shoot? You shot a video for it? Yeah, there was like so at the end of the uh when it was time for us to Oh, like, they put it on the projector? It, yeah, they put it, oh. yeah, I was on the jumbo tron. Dude, yeah, that's yeah, gotta yeah. be exciting. Yeah, that was exciting. Yeah. Um yeah, especially if they didn't know. They were like, Holy shit. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. They were like, Oh, you didn't tell us. Oh my god. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um I, I do feel like dang, I I wish I could have finally got out there in the, in the <laughs> on the field. <laughs> Oh, oh, for your graduation? Field. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, when you graduate in the summer, you're, in the, you're on the basketball court. And it's like, yeah, we're, we're a football school. And it's also, <laughs> like, I have no memories at Stegman, the Coliseum. Yeah. I have no memories. Well, I do. I remember John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins coming in, like. And go and having a good game. <laughs> having, a really good, having a really good game. Having, having some revenge on what our team did in Rupp Arena. Um, I, yeah, I guess I. Don't think I went to any of the basketball games, but I do have fond memories at the football games because yeah, it's such yeah. a football centric. You can't right. help but like get sucked into the SEC mm-hmm, college mm-hmm. football atmosphere. Yeah, what what year did you uh, graduate? You don't have to say it's oh. it's it's you know it's, it's kind of an illegal question. You don't have to. Oh say. really? Yeah, it's work- real, it's illegal to ask in what? the workplace. You can't ask people like their age and stuff. For like real? That. I don't think so. What? I'm, I've been doing that. Yeah, dude. And <laughs> I'm pretty, HR I'm an, has been hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I ask, it's another thing in my file. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Too inquisitive. Me, uh, when I graduated. <laughs> Lady uh, crying. My <laughs> address. <laughs> he, asked me what, he asked me what I minored in and when I graduated. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think you guys asked me what they minored in. I don't know if you could <laughs> be like, yo, but when did you graduate? Really? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be asking people stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty nosy. That's, but it says that in your file. It says <laughs> nosy. Be asking people stuff. It's like, be on the lookout. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. But it doesn't matter, dude. <laughs> Just put it in there. He be asking people. He stuff. asking stuff. He's asking stuff. <laughs> 2017. So were we like? We were almost. We we were like so. When we were in the national championship and stuff, you had just left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we weren't like we weren't like elite, elite, but we were like we were getting there. Right? We Kirby like, Smart just to join at the end of my uh, being at college. Okay, yeah. So, so we you had some Mark Rick years. We had, I think, my freshman year and sophomore year were Mark Rick years, and then junior senior year were um, mm. was uh, Mr. Kirby Smart. Okay, so okay. we got to see. I mean, I got to see a great program the whole time I was there. But, right, right, right. But uh, only after I left were we like. In the SEC championship every year, yeah, up against Saban all the time. Dynasty, yes, and mm-hmm. and then recently it's been nothing but uh, good times for good times, for the and then game. robbed of a of a playoff berth. Yep, you know you you run the table three years in a row, and then you don't even get. And uh, then they're like, "Well, you lost that one playoff game." <laughs> I like that you you did a Trump voice, like he's controlling. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a close game to Alabama. Georgia's <laughs> not really pushing it. <laughs> you guys are the dogs, but you guys are laying down like a dog. They're yeah. laying down like a couple of doggies. Like a couple of doggies <laughs> getting washed up by the Crimson Tide. <laughs> Top comment. I I stayed through all of the Trump stuff. Kev never showed up. <laughs> I can't believe Kev didn't come in and be like, are you guys doing Trump? <laughs> Dude. When did you graduate? I Can graduated. I ask you this? Uh, <laughs> The older you get, the more illegal it gets. Uh, I, I graduated in uh, 2010. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you yeah. got to see yeah. No Sean Marino? No. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. No Sean Marino. Uh, uh, my freshman class. Stafford? Was, Stafford was nice. in my class. So then, yeah, we actually, like, junior year, saw it, watched him get drafted. Wow. And then, like, was like, man, we're we're about to suck. We're happy for him. Yeah, yeah. Number one pick. But He's it means, doing great. Yeah. But this oh, man, well. next year is not going to Who beat. came in after him? Uh, Joe Cox. Don't even remember. Oh, man. We had fun with that last name. Yeah. And then, <laughs> so, so did every other SEC school. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The whole Southeastern Conference was like, dude, 
Georgia's quarterback is Joe Cox, bro. <laughs> oh, we know what we're going to say in the stands. <laughs> Joe Cox, if you're listening, we feel sorry for you, and we love you. And also, I hope... Joe Cox, you just went viral for something wild. So, oh, really? You know, yeah, yeah, Whoa, yeah. Wow, that's exciting. Had a, had a okay year. What is what is Joe Cox doing? I don't I don't want to get it. Well, no, we got to get into it. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Stafford's wife oh. might have said that like when her and Matthew Stafford had a rough patch in college, Whoa. she slept with the backup quarterback. Who is Joe Cox? And we all know who the backup quarterback <laughs> is. Oh my god! And so now like all kind of people have been messaging like, "Hey, Joe Cox was so bad." <laughs> Dude, that's not we fun for Joe know. Cox at all because <laughs> he's not being remembered for football, no. and he probably has a wife now. Yeah. And she's like, "You did what, you slime ball?" Yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> was your roommate? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. he's probably a a Porsche salesman somewhere in, <laughs> in Georgia. I don't know, yo. Joe Cox is calling the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Call that number. Oh my god, he's calling us. <laughs> Oh my God! He's oh he still he still wants oh. to talk about a chocolate chocolate fever. Oh what, no! What is it? What chocolate did, fever. What did, what, did, what did the guy say? Chocolate lovers. Dude, I'm offended at chocolate fever. <laughs> That's is, where I draw the line. No, no. Chocolate thirsty. Chocolate thirsty. I still finish. Chocolate thirsty's way the worse. Radio thirsty sounds chocolate like Chocolate fever. Salivating. Now, dude, you're sick. <laughs> Wait, Joe Cox calls us like I'm chocolate. I'm, I'm chocolate thirsty, guys. Get me on the pod. <laughs> I hope that doesn't become a thing. <laughs> chocolate Please. thirsty. You should have a chocolate thirsty section of the podcast. I don't know what it would be, but it's just it's just insane wording. Right. Sonny, you uh you just moved to New York mm -hmm. from Atlanta. Yeah, buddy. Following in my footsteps in in every possible way. I'm gonna have a podcast in this studio <laughs> <laughs> in you three down, months. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was uh, yeah, I'm moving in, living in New York now. When did you move there? You moved I there moved pretty there shortly in after twenty fifteen. Oh, okay. So you spent five yeah. years in Atlanta after yeah, graduated yeah. college. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Look at the look, look at you doing math. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, oh. um, so yeah, so now, now you're in, in New York stuff yeah. with the big dogs. Did you feel any of the backlash? I did feel some people like it was crazy because some people would, were upset with me for moving mm. and they felt like, dude, like we're trying to build something in Atlanta and oh. you, like, left us behind type of thing. Oh. And it's just kind of like, I don't know. I feel like everybody I know who like did it and then like got on TV had to go had to go except for the people who came to Atlanta from somewhere else yeah 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 those people already left home right they you know? they already like, made their voyage here yeah they're already from somewhere else and they yeah. came to Atlanta and then you know like cuz i think part some part of it is the industry yeah right the industry has giant buildings that they're not moving on the coast. Yeah. But the other part of it's like personal growth. Yeah. And like I need to And your like ability to see more of the world. The nest. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because no one's mad that you leave Athens to go to Atlanta. No, you have they're to They're rooting do that. for you. They're, yeah, like, they're like, yeah. Go not you've left, you're not a townie. That's great. Right, right. And Shonic used to have he you took over Flickr, mm -hmm. right? Which was Caleb's sign in show that yeah. he took over from Shout out to uh, Caleb Sided. We love you, buddy. From from T J <laughs> And uh, yeah, you when you had it, I don't know, like your your personality and your your kindness and everything. <laughs> it was such a fun environment. Oh, it cool! Was so much fun. Thank you. And yeah, when I met you, I was like, this guy is so nice. He's not gonna be doing comedy. <laughs> He's not. It is a pretty hard he's, binary. He's not gonna. There's no way either. He's gonna like go off the deep end and be the meanest guy, or he's gonna be out the game. This guy is so sweet. He's gonna. He's gonna own some kind of comedy something. And like, dog, don't worry, don't worry, Shining, don't recommend him for nothing because he he not gonna be around. He's not even gonna long. be here he's in three nice. months. He's, he's out way of here. too nice. You're the, you're the sweetest guy. I think I you you see me in comedy i'm i'm pretty kind generally 
<laughs> well, yeah, what if I was a monster outside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone on the comments like, yo, this guy came into my restaurant. He was a piece oh of shit. Oh, my God. He kept asking me when I graduated. <laughs> and I was like, I, I didn't here. go to school, okay? <laughs> Stop breaking me. Bring it up. <laughs> well, I'm at, in, at shows and stuff around stand I just love doing it, so I'm just... Always having a good time. Yeah. I'm always surprised when Everybody I see it. Everybody don't love doing it. I know. I'm Some always so surprised. Out. Like, get out of here then. Don't yeah, yeah, don't yeah. do it. Just right. do something else. Right, right. I'm always so shocked whenever I see someone at a show or something and they're like, you know, bummed, angry. And mm -hmm. it's like, you, you, I get it. You got a regular life. And I've obviously had days where I'm not having a good time. and Never seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah, because when I'm at a show, it. I'm just excited to be there. Right. And I'm like, I think that has uh, helped me uh, stay out of the valley too much emotionally. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because I always just go do stand-up and will feel more centered when I'm leaving. It sucks when somebody's bummed before the set. Yeah. They're already, they're already <laughs> yeah. brooding. I'm and like, it's like, wait, wait, wait. It could go bad up there. Yeah, it, could, it could go good. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> you don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude. And I think that, yeah, I don't know. What, what was your original question? I didn't feel any backlash. I don't think that was a thing when I was there, that there was a deep pressure to stay and build anything in Atlanta. And there there okay. were people like our good friend David Perdue, who was mm -hmm. like, maybe you should consider staying. And uh, get out of here. Perdue's trying to convince people to stay. Or, or not. And the whole, the whole entire world's trying to get Purdue to leave. I know. I think that's why. <laughs> and then Purdue is trying to, like, convince. Oh, man. Not even. I didn't feel like he was like, don't do it, man. <laughs> I don't think I ever felt that. But he was like, you could stay and do something here. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, <laughs> what's some Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Just breakfast at David's yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I felt that pressure. Who was giving you pressure? You don't have to say names, but you just felt it like was overall. Like, well, okay. I think I. Um, but you also left when a bunch of people left, so that's kind of surprising. Or maybe that was part of why. Yeah. I see. I le when I left, Caleb left. Dulce left. Yeah. Uh, Clayton left. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe they were like, we're. <laughs> This is Matthew Stafford leaving. We can't have everyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. We can't have everyone go to the draft. But we all were like, you know, we seen the people who yeah. didn't leave and we saw the people who like yeah. were on the coast making moves and then came back. Yeah. And, you know, like we're just kind of bitter. Yes. And we didn't want to be that. Right. You know, and then also like like, you know, we weren't even cognizant of the fact that there's a whole Chicago crew that went to New York. Yeah. There's a whole Boston crew. There's a whole, you know, so it's yeah. just almost like, you know, I think I think in Atlanta you um a you little bit away. You get to perform in front of people before a lot of other scenes. Yes. And so you think I'm in the game. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. And you are. Yeah. But you also are a little spoiled. Yeah. Because when you go to other places and it's not like that, you think these this place is whack. Yeah, and it's not like that's oh, just kind of how it is. But everywhere. the other people that are doing these empty rooms, yeah, are gonna be the people who could hire you. Are gonna be yeah. the people who could start a thing with you. Right, are the right. people you could build with. And you're not meeting the people who are been doing it the same amount of time as you. Exactly. You know, so then you, so, so sometimes you get people and they get bitter because, after you know, they're like, I've been doing this all this time. I've been right. putting, you know, my life on hold for this thing. Yeah. But it's like, hey, there's a whole lot of people who've been doing that. Right. And they move somewhere. Right. You know? Yeah. And it's also like you are only going to get sharper when you have uh, a bunch of different voices you're competing against all at the same time. I think that's what makes Atlanta good is there's a bunch of comics that have a bunch of different voices and you got to lean into your strength right. to make the show good and to mm -hmm, stand out. Mm -hmm. And you get to a point where you are good at doing that with the people in your surroundings and then you do have to go play against other great right. comics. And, and for me, I found that like, variety of audiences is yeah. there. So like when you're in Atlanta, 
You know when you go to Starbucks what could, exactly what, what who moves you're you talking make. to. Yeah. You know when you go to Cats exactly who you're talking to. Right. You know when you go to Limerick exactly who you're talking to. The yeah. Laughing Skull. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, that's it. Yeah. You have a few levels you're playing yeah. uh, on the video game. When you're in New York and you go to Stand Up New York one night, it's yeah. all Australians there. <laughs> yeah. You go another night, yeah. it's people from around the corner right. that are like live on the Upper West Side. You go another night, it's like a mix of this and a mix of that and right. some old people in the corner and, you know, yeah. some, some people that just turned 18 in the front and right. some people on the way to the prom and you... <laughs> Some people in Aust- <laughs> some Australians, you know, just random, yeah, yeah. like all kind of just you know, and you you kind of get used to talking to everybody, yeah, yeah, and making you know, like making the- everyone laugh without compromising what you think is funny, right, right. Well, also like sometimes you you develop like some shorthand, yeah. So sometimes you'll get on stage and you'll say something and it's like this used to bust them up in high school, right, right. And when I say this on stage. They already gonna know what kind of guy I am. Exactly. But like, if you tr- that doesn't travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, like if you 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 you're, you're used to saying it around people that you know get your vibe already. Right. But the Australians have never met a guy like you or met a guy like me. Right, right, right. So you got to learn how to bring them in. Yeah. Seamlessly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's why you leave is to get exposure to that kind of stuff. Right. 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 Yeah, but I don't think I felt any sort of. I think when I was leaving, people were like, "Good, go, man, go crazy, man, get out of here, go crazy." So nice, so <laughs> smiling all the time, making people feel good. We sick of it. <laughs> you get too great go, of a go, person. Good buddy. luck doing that, in New York, dog. <laughs> Dude, go everyone be, said that. Go be sweet, New York. <laughs> everyone was like, "That smile wipe right out <laughs> your face." <laughs> I've been there three months. I'm like, maybe you guys are just babies. It's fine up here. <laughs> Is it that hard? Are you gonna the smile left your face? Nah, give it another three. Months. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying that. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like maybe y'all are babies. <laughs> Shani, what, uh, what's your favorite color sky? Uh, a blue sky. Okay. Yeah. Have, have you asked this question before? People said something, something else? Never asked it before. <laughs> That's wonderful. What's your favorite color sky? That's an insane question. <laughs> I like a pinkish, purplish, sherbetish. Oh, nice. Orange-ish sunset? Sunset. <laughs> what if you didn't know what that word was? Oh. I like when the sky gets weird. <laughs> it always happens around seven. I don't think anybody's noticed, but like it's like that, and then the sun goes to sleep or something. Yeah, it's like it goes away, and then it's like, oh, I hope he comes back. I'm getting cold. I was like, Rob, you might be the only person more whimsical than me. You don't know what sunsets are. That's a, that's a beautiful, <laughs> dude. He, I will say the sunsets in Los Angeles. You can't beat them. You can't beat them. That is that is when, uh, the, when the pollution in the system. <laughs> yeah, I found that out recently. <laughs> that the colors are because of the pollution. Yeah, yeah, dog. damn. Yeah, yeah, that's that bad air, baby. That <laughs> kind of nice. That good you... on the eyes, bad on the lungs. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that BP should lean into that. <laughs> They should really be like Chevron. Bad, good yeah. on the eyes, bad on the lungs. Yeah. I don't know why Carl's Jr. got Paris Hilton. It should have been <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should have had her. Hot. Yeah. Like... yeah, looking at the sunset, that's hot. And then it, in skywriting, good on the eyes, bad on the lungs. <laughs> that would kind of go hard, bro. That would. That would. British Petroleum. That one was free. The next one's going to cost you. Next one's going to cost you. We're going to Venmo request BP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude. Uh, the sunsets are pretty unbeatable here. And also, there's elevation changes. So you can, like, be in a random spot and be like, whoa, we're in a... Wow, why'd you laugh at that? <laughs> what is that? Elevation what? changes. Yeah, you're in a hill sometimes, Robert. <laughs> and what, So what does that do to I'm your not on the... <laughs> You can see the sunset better. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a valid point, Robert. <laughs> I'm calling me Robert. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. The audience doesn't know that's my name, bro. <laughs> if you're if you're chocolate thirsty, you want to see Robert? Oh here, no! We're gonna put his dates up here. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> you don't really use this. We made a big deal about about getting the power for this. Can I touch it? it? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, there's nothing uh, on okay. that side. Damn. Let me, right. let me it's like something. when you give your younger brother the controller that's let not plugged in. Let me put something on that side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're chocolate thirsty, <laughs> we're here with Robert. That's fun. That's a good time. Do you you mix music? Do you make music? I don't make music. Uh, I I do a little little DJing. Like, really? Like, as, as oh, a I've seen you at parties DJ. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. That's... Well, the first time I ever DJed was at the Skull Fest. Really? Yeah yeah. Uh, you were still in college, but uh, yeah. Um, Marshall was just like, "Yo, play some music. We need to keep people here." <laughs> And so it's just That's like, a lot of pressure. Yeah. So like everything I played had to hit. Yeah. But then Where were you I playing? was like hitting I was just playing like stuff that I, you know Yeah, you would want to listen to. Yeah, yeah. And then like Dan Weeks started coming up to me with like the DJ science. He was like, after this you gotta play <laughs> I wanna dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. <laughs> and it was like Nah, like I don't gotta play that. <laughs> yeah, at it, all. Like he I would have put you in charge, <laughs> right? I don't want it. Well, no, but like it was so funny because Dan Weeks was all like, "Now, if you're gonna play a song with this BPM, then the next song you play has <laughs> gotta have the same BPM." And I was like, "Bro, I'm playing vibes." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, vibes yeah. don't care about BPM. Vibes don't care about BPMs. Also. I don't even have like a mix or anything. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm literally just like picking songs. Queuing up songs <laughs> yeah. on title <laughs> and just like just not like like not messing it up. And then when people get tired of a song, just like drop, yeah. you know, dropping a song that I know like it's got a good Yeah, beginning. good energy to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you can overthink DJing. I've seen people overthink DJing and then uh they like cut songs off early. Yeah, yeah. Like I've seen, I was at a wedding not too long ago, and every time the song is about to get good, it would be like "Dancing Queen" faded out to something yeah. else, and you're like, "No, that's the part we like. Why are you doing?" Oh yeah, I saw this video, and this guy, uh, he pissed off like a whole wedding, but he was just like, he played like this intro, <laughs> but then didn't finish it with. Oh, the he song. didn't get the drop. No, so it's just. <laughs> He's just like everybody's revving up, you know. Oh, uh, that's diabolical. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a lump in my throat. <laughs> that, that was very unsatisfying. <laughs> No oh, one dude. wants that. It feels like I almost cracked my back, <laughs> but it's still in there, you know? Yeah. I'm going to be uncomfortable the whole it's day. Like, I want to do the roll call from the DNC. <laughs> yeah. How are they going to know Georgia's delegates? I love, love a guy uh, only associating that with the DNC. <laughs> oh, that thing Kamala had. Oh, man. You ah, know that one song so... that they had on the second day of the DNC? <laughs> Where is that song? <laughs> on Reddit. Type in. <laughs> Can anyone help me? I was watching the second day of the DNC. They had an awesome song in there. I would like to listen to that on my daily ventures. I do like when they were like, VP Harris. Yeah. To the walls. Oh. And it was like, oh. I don't think I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were doing like, oh, yeah, because Lil John came out. Lil John came out. And he mm -hmm. was in the stands hype. Yeah. There were certainly people there that. Like uh, older DNC voters that had no idea what was going on. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. They definitely were like, "Oh no, wait, is this <laughs> is this an attack?" <laughs> and then, you know, oh, it's Little John. Okay, okay. Oh, it's just Little I, John. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, it's that character from Chappelle's show. <laughs> they know that. Yeah, <laughs> they just know that. <laughs> ah, I think he's. Bully. I believe he's from the Chappelle show. <laughs> Oh, is that uh, Little Richard? Oh, oh, different guy. Got it. Yeah, there were certainly people that had no clue. <laughs> Just like in the audience, like, oh. It's funny because, yeah, what the, he had like his own like little aisle. Yeah. So there was definitely like some old person that probably tried to walk like, like the, <laughs> Excuse and me. they're like, hey, uh, we're, we're doing something right now. It's like, yeah. We're on Georgia. <laughs> I'm in New Hampshire. I'm fine. And it's I'm like, no, 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 no. He's going to come from like a whole nother state and then walk to Georgia. Whatever, man. Okay. Okay. Whoever this Chicago little John is character is. is. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, you know, if you're New Hampshire, you don't really have a guy to come out and sing when they announce your state. Yeah, DJ Cassidy definitely had to just, like, <laughs> play the songs he wanted to hear yeah, yeah. at some He's point. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you think you could be a good politician? You just put out a joke about being president. Uh, you think you could be president? I think I could be a good politician. I think that, like, if I thought about it earlier, yeah, I would be. That's like, your that's your bit. Unstoppable. Very funny. But like, like now, I think like I would have to like the rebrand would be like a ten fifteen year process. Sure, because there's enough of you out there where people could. Uh, you already have a brand. Uh, yeah. What would the rebrand look like? You think? The rebrand would be me going viral for like like at a city council meeting or something. Okay. And just you like thought this through. like taking it like taking somebody to task and just be like, "No, we need this and we need that and nobody here even cares about this district." Oh. And I'm like and I've got on like some just casual clothes or something. Okay. And then that kind of goes a little viral. And they're like, "We like and this then, guy's moxie." And then I start then I start doing the work. I start like doing stuff, learning stuff. You know, and that's then, a, that's a then I run for office. I bring back that video. Remember the dude with the Star Trek shirt <laughs> and went to the meeting <laughs> and was saying the stuff? <laughs> now he's running for Congress. You know <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, fun yeah. boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. And so then, then I'm in Congress. Boom. C-SPAN, it's time to go viral again. You know, like, okay, bam. It's all of it's really just like comedy. It's yeah. like once you start getting the clips, <laughs> then you can start putting those in commercials. And then, you know, you just yeah, you get more popular. Dude, you've really thought this out. I haven't thought about it one bit. This is one, you just coming up with one, it right now? This is me right now. You also, should just do that. I was poly side at <laughs> Uh, Georgia. Like I kind of like, but then none of what out. you said is poli sci, or maybe it is. I don't really know. It's a little bit of it. Okay, it's like the fun part. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The part I the would optics. get right on the test. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the qualitative uh, commercials. Part. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely write a little essay question on that. <laughs> Wait, why did you do poli sci? Did you want to do politics? No, I, uh, I didn't get into the uh, school journalism school. <laughs> That's fair. And I didn't so, get into it either. And I was like, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> I, if, if I take any more time, I'm not going to graduate. That's what I, That's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah. What did you, you end with? I wanted to do sports journalism, but I didn't have the grades to get into the journalism school, so I did just did communications. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I taught myself graphic design, which is what I did for a job for a while. Uh, Fire. Yeah. Is uh, there even a graphic design program at Georgia? Yeah, it's in the art school. But oh, it's over there. Yeah. Too many buses to get over there. It takes a while. Yeah. You gotta walk a while. <laughs> and I was like, I'll just learn on you. Yeah, dude. But you really thought this politician thing through, bro. I, I think not, you could do it. I've not thought about it one bit. You, I mean, I think in my brain that would work. The arc I've is there. I've just seen Head of State. That's all. I don't even know that. What is that? It's a movie where Chris Rock runs for president. Oh, that sounds tight. Dude, you young as hell, dog. Like this, <laughs> this movie came out when I was in high school. Really? You don't? Yeah. I don't know. So you know how like a uh, Greek plays? Uh, when not? It's not Greek plays. Were you explaining no, no. the concept of movies to me? <laughs> you know how Shakespeare? They have a chorus. Yeah. And the chorus like comes out and kind of explains, explains the story. On. Yeah. Head of state has a chorus. I see. And it's Nate Dog. Oh wow! And Nate Dog kind of narrates that's what's going on that's in the tight. movie. Yeah, I thought you were going so far back to explain <laughs> movies to me. So the Greeks had this great tradition, of like <laughs> only men was playing in the plays, right? So the men was the men, but the men were the women. But you know, don't think they progressive because they probably not. They just really hate women that much. They hated women that so they much. They put breast on men to be in the play, and anyway, they made sure to tell. You, it was not gay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The, like that's what they cut out of Shakespeare. People don't know Romeo and Juliet. They said it's not gay. Two so dudes much. the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. It's like yo. Oh, my window breaks and all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> my window breaks. Is that in Shakespeare? Yeah. That, that sounds like a play about our, our driving thou in Atlanta. Window, <laughs> our thou, who broke my window? Is that a thing? <laughs> No. You know, you know, Romeo and Juliet. Art that window break. Oh man, dude, dude, them bit his thumb. I gotta kill him. 
I gotta get. Don't you bite your thumb at me, dog. I don't, I don't even know the thumb part. Is that a thing? Hey, you uh, ain't never seen Romeo and Juliet. I've seen Leo Leo's version. They have all that in there. Oh, really? <laughs> they Damn. have the language. <laughs> they got the biting of the thumb. They got all that. That's that's me. Hey, and the I gotta kill you now. <laughs> I have to. Do? I have to murder you. <laughs> My family gonna kill your family. You I'm keep gonna, bite your thumb. <laughs> I'm gonna do this to someone <laughs> on the street, and, and I'll know it's bad because this is this will start a war. But if someone pisses yeah, me off, and that I, was they. That was they. Back then, that was it. Th- this? Yeah. Why? Why? What does that mean? I don't even know what this means. I mean, this this means like, like, like but why? Up, up yours, right? Oh, that's the origin of the middle up finger. Seven up, yeah. Up seven up. <laughs> Make seven up yours. Yeah, yeah. That'd be funny to open a seven up in someone's direction. <laughs> Seven of you. Yo, I don't think Shani got that reference either. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. <laughs> this is me saying stuff it. from my childhood, and you're like, yeah, dude, Rob's a silly guy. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out back in your childhood, you would ask, what's your favorite color sky all the time? <laughs> it's a thing you guys did a lot. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll come clean. I've asked it on every episode. Really? <laughs> really? What does that, who else do, who says anything but sunset and blue? If you see, if if a guy's in here and they're like, I like it when it's gray, man. That's a sad individual. I think that's what CP did. I oh, think really? CP was like, I like a night sky. Oh, yeah, night yeah. skies. That's a good yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think I've gotten I've gotten every I think I've gotten every possible. Okay. Sydney Castillo said red. I don't even know if that's possible. Red sky. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't even think that's even like really you know in nature. You know what I mean? Like yeah, dude. I guess in, I've seen it in Samurai Jack. Okay, okay, shout out to Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite cartoon of that era, bro? You're a cartoon My favorite kid. cartoon of that era? Uh, I'm going to say Samurai Jack. I don't want to, like, tell the truth. What? Why? Because the truth is Family Guy. That's okay. <laughs> that's that's timeless. Family Guy's still around. You yeah, watched it a lot as know, a kid? I wa- No, I didn't watch it as a kid, but, like, yeah, I watched it. <laughs> that kind of sounds like you're trying to be cool. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying, like, Family Guy was, like, the first run of Family Guy I might have been, like, in oh. high school. Oh, okay. And then, like, yeah, when they brought it back, I was in, like, college. Oh, I didn't even know it went away, but that's interesting. Yeah, it went away. It didn't, it did okay, and it wasn't even on Sundays. Uh-huh. It was, like, on Tuesdays or something, and then... It went away, and then it got so popular on TBS. Yeah. Like, the reruns. That they put it on Fox? Or maybe, was it TBS, or was it Cartoon? It was somewhere where they it got syndicated on cable. Okay. And then, and then the DVD, that's back when, like, DVD sales could, like, change your life. Oh. So the DVD sales went stupid. Wow. And so the DVD sales went so stupid that, like, they brought it back. That's kind of sick. Yeah, that it was. Uh, it was almost like people decided, not the network. Yeah, that the yeah. show deserved to live on. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Because yeah, be, like pre social media, that that's was all like that the only way you could tell that people like something that yeah. you didn't realize. So like yeah, like Chappelle show DVDs went stupid, mm. and then they were like. Give this man fifty million dollars. That's almost more of an indicator than social media numbers or anything. Yeah, because you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta buy it. Yeah, and then when commit to having a physical thing in your house. But then also, there's marketing in an empty shelf. Yeah, and you're like walking past, and you're like. Dang, everybody got all the Chappelle DVDs. Yeah. Oh, Family Guy, they only got season one. They don't got season two, season three. Season, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that That was like marketing in itself because it's yeah. like, now that's what I want for Christmas. That's what I want. I want what I couldn't get when I went to the store. You yeah, know? and in, in the, the physical thing of going into a place, you've seen that they've printed out Family Guy on right. like a plastic thing. Mm-hmm. It's sitting on an empty wire shelf. And yeah. you go, oh, dang, yeah. what was, I got to check this out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also the DVD, if you buy the DVD, you have it in your house and you're sh- for sure showing other people. 
Oh yeah. I see something on my phone. I'm not really showing other people. Oh yeah. No, if you had Chappelle Show season two on DVD, you're like, bro, check this out. You're not only are you showing people, but it's lit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's lit. Yeah, yeah. You're like excited to show right. your boy when he comes over. People had it on bootleg. Yeah. People were bootlegging, like like the DVD for that show, and I don't think there's too many TV shows because you cannot you're not getting a bootleg box set. <laughs> Like no, one's, no one's like Manila Yo, envelope. I got the whole season two of the office right here. <laughs> all five discs. Yo, how much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for twenty for season two of the office is so yeah, funny. It's seven disc DVD seven commentary. Discs. I got all the Dwight bloopers Yo, on here. I got I got the OC season two. <laughs> it's going crazy. In all the six seasons right of now. burn notice on Yo, this. <laughs> You want to see Ryan's brother get shot? <laughs> Spoiler alert. You better buy the DVD. <laughs> like, what? You just told me. <laughs> I don't want to buy the DVD now. <laughs> you just spoiled it. <laughs> yeah, I, that there's power in the DVD numbers that I don't think we get mm -hmm. with just views on Hulu or whatever. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, also we expect to have everything all the time. Yeah. Like, like I was explaining to uh, my wife that... Uh, uh, Hard Knocks has been around since like 2000. Yeah, and she's like, "Well, who? What, what teams have done it?" And I'm like, "That's like 25 years." <laughs> yeah, pretty much all of them. <laughs> it's like every team but the Patriots <laughs> has done. Yeah, Hard Knocks, and then it was like, "Oh, maybe they're like on Max," and then they weren't there. It was just like the ones from. Last yeah, it's just the ones year. since Max started making it. Yeah, yeah, and I was like. And it was like, oh yeah, I forget that they don't give us everything anymore. I know, and you can, go, I think you can go find it. But yeah, it is nice. I'm a Bears fan, so I'm having a fantastic time with. Hyper How Strike. do you feel about the way they're hyping up this young man at quarterback? Uh, I'm a I'm not gonna lie. I'm Caleb Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get the yeah. <laughs> That's me. That's me watching our nuts. <laughs> um, dude, I mean, I've uh, fully drank the Kool-Aid. I'm like, really want it to be a successful endeavor. But it is so scary because we just, we do this all the time. We get excited about a guy and then Chicago's. I'm ready to be annoyed by him. Yeah, me too. I mean, I hope. I hope your he's man, so. Your man uh, gets his nails painted. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm about in. <laughs> Every, what's up with like? Cause the Sixers drafted that dude. He gets his nails painted. Yep. No one allows. Like, what's up with this? Like, Gen this Z year, does it. Gen Z is like, dude. Athletes paint their nails. Paint their nails <laughs> colors. Yeah, different stuff. Yeah. But I feel like we Dennis Rodman would have done it, but it wasn't a thing back then. I think he he might have did it. Yeah, he, he might have did it. He did weirder stuff. Right, honestly. right, right, right. Well, I, to me, it's like. If a bunch of people are doing something at once, yeah, is it is it even that off the beaten path? Yeah, but they but football is like another monster. Yeah, because they'll be on Fox Sports comparing him to Prince. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> he's gonna have the impact that Prince had because like the way that he just like sees like the world is <laughs> different. It's like, nah, he just got a manicure, bro. Yeah, I think he's just uh, <laughs> twenty one years old, and yeah. that's what twenty one year old yeah. kids are doing. I think he's just like I don't know, bored. And also in football, there's like a different level of masculinity than like basketball or baseball, where you can kind of be individualistic in those sports. Sure. And in football, they're like, he's gay. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like there's a lot of people also, freaking out. <laughs> I think quarterbacks always took care of their nails. Yeah, you can't have long nails. And throw the football. It's one of the few I positions where you're not wearing gloves. I think they never talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that all millionaire quarterbacks probably get their nails done. Yeah. They just never talked about it, and it was a secret. And then Caleb comes, and he's like, look, look at, at this me. color. <laughs> <laughs> I got blue and orange because I'm a bear. And they're like, get out of here, you gay, gay. <laughs> They're freaking out. Yeah, Joe Cox, if you're still on the, <laughs> if you're listening, please let us know if you got a manicure. <laughs> Joe Cox, if you're listening, 
<laughs> Legendary listener of the Rob Hess podcast, <laughs> Jeff Cox. If you're listening to this, let us know. He might. He, we, he, we might have a... You guys were in I, the college at the same time. Right. I know somebody that was in a class oh, with Joe Cox for sure. You're one and degree didn't separation. even recognize him. <laughs> didn't even... Re- like, we know what Stafford looks like. You yeah. know if you're in a class with Stafford. We know what No Sean looks like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know what, like, like Rennie Curran looks like. Yeah. We don't know what Joe Cox looked like before... Stafford <laughs> Perfect alibi right. to have He might have been an intro to, to drama, drama <laughs> one thousand. Did you take drama classes? I took I took drama I, I was a, a film minor, so I took oh. a, a drama class. And what year did you graduate? <laughs> <laughs> I graduated when no hands came out by Waka Blocka. Wow, that's a good year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, Flocka uh, Belly came out. That's right when I yeah, issued. Have you the seen street. Flocka's new? Speaking of rebrands, <laughs> he's had a great rebrand, huh? I don't. I don't think so. I don't. What? Like, I don't like. You Mag- don't like vegan Flocka? Oh, vegan Flocka is fine. I thought yeah. you were talking about Maga Flocka. Oh, has he gone down that route? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have not seen that. That's surprising. Yeah, he's all vegan. I can't. Right. He's a vegan Maga guy. Yeah, with dreads, they don't like that. Well, you know. This song is about the Second Amendment. Uh, I love them guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that, you're so right. This is. <laughs> you're so right. Also, uh, he's That's also Second got. Second Amendment rights right there, dog. He's also got Love Them Gun Sounds. Yeah. Another song. <laughs> And Snakes in the Grass sounds like something Trump would uh, be really into. Oh, man. Snakes in the Grass. <laughs> you know, uh, Trump that's listen. A, that's a deep cut with a video. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> this was a good era of music, bro. Yeah. He has so many mixtapes with Gucci Mane where the covers were all insane. Oh, Rory yeah. Boys. You said like uh, uh, LeBron Flocka James. <laughs> And then, and then Kevin Flocka Duran. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. datpip.com was uh, set on fire when yeah. those were out, bro. Man, that that was such a good time. If you knew Photoshop, you were busy. Oh, you were so busy. <laughs> you yeah. had stuff to do. You were out here making... Uh, <laughs> you were putting Waka Flocka and Gucci Mane's face on uh, any sort of uh, cultural icon that existed. Yeah. <laughs> they had a uh, one with... Uh, I don't know. I think it was like Gucci Mane behind the podium, like Obama or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were so many oh, exciting. Oh no, he did the Cold War series. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like uh, Burr Russia, <laughs> yeah. Great Burton, <laughs> and uh, Gucci America. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, that yeah. was an exciting time for Photoshop. Users. Even even last year, Gucci's still up to it. He, he really? Made, he made Wappenheimer last year. <laughs> I don't think he saw the movie at all. He doesn't but, need to. Yeah, yeah. He's past that. Yeah. <laughs> to, in, in, for him, it's oh, just. Brother, oh, brother. <laughs> it, not a bad Gucci. Who out, you know. Dude. I'm making the atomic bomb. <laughs> Go sleep me. I'm in New Mexico. Hi, Gucci man. So Come good. pull up on me in New Mexico. We got the atomic bomb. <laughs> Gucci man, I'm such a big fan of yours. Oh, man. No, Robert Downey Jr. trying to take me down because I made the atomic bomb. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> You and you have already did have beef. Yeah, yeah. He, he was he was doing the glasses trying to take it down. Oh, I'm aware, a, but a, a atomic bomb. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Why did you make an atomic bomb? I mean, I figured out how to split an atom when I go to sleep. <laughs> I've been seeing like different like like visions and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Gucci, I, I That's be having insane. visions of visions. You having visions of visions? I be having visions of visions. So you know. G- Gucci, d- um, now are you gonna go maybe work at the Hydron Collider where they have a they're splitting an atom for good? Oh no, they try to call me a communist. <laughs> what? Because my because my side chick is you know she on that type of time. I was reading her Sanskrit. Whoa! <laughs> so so they're calling you a communist, Gucci man. You're not a communist. I'll be you know I'll be at the parties. <laughs> <laughs> The part is not bad. <laughs> the part is not bad, you know what I'm saying? But Matt Damon said he going to get me off, so, you know, I, I might be all right. That's good. And now, do you have any conflicted feelings about what they're going to do with your invention? The 
I mean, you know, I'm Prometheus. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I figured out life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm God. You know, Albert Einstein don't like when I talk like that, but, you know, that's on him. That's, he, that's he, on him. He an old man by the lake. What he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, one, I never seen you do an impression for him. <laughs> Two, I didn't expect you to nail it. And Gucci Man, that is how he would feel if he had make the atomic bomb. If he was in Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, if he was in Oppenheimer, that's exactly how his attitude would be like, that's an old man by the lake. What is he going to do? <laughs> Gucci, I'm really proud of you, man. You really changed the course of history. Hey, man, everybody that worked on a bomb got <laughs> canceled. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like pour one out for everybody that worked on the atomic bomb. Yeah. Yeah, pour, out, pour one out for Nagasaki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pulling out for you know Hiroshima, and uh, yeah, that's a you, you really had a deep role to play in history. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. the way how Eisenhower called me called me a pansy. You know what I'm saying? What? So yeah, I'm gonna have to beat his ass one day. <laughs> that's crazy, Gucci. <laughs> don't you've done enough. You, <laughs> Just, just rest. That was my favorite part of the movie. Have you seen Oppenheimer? I've never seen it. Oh, oh man, he beats, he beats Oppenheimer. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, he he game is crazy. It is good. No, he don't fight him, but but uh, I think what Dwight, I can't remember what he calls him, but it's like one of them old timey like you Lily White. Oh, yeah, yeah. You because because Oppenheimer's all like, oh, look what we've done. We you know like like we don't need to drop this bomb. What about the people? And I was like. I was like it's in our hands now. You're a pansy. Oh yeah. no way! Yeah, yeah. That's I get, I'm accurate to what happened in in real life. Like he invented the bomb, and then he was like, "This isn't a good idea." No, nah, I I think they tested it, and then he was like, "There was already rumblings of people because some people worked on it, but didn't know they were making a bomb. Uh huh. Because they didn't call it a bomb; they called it the gadget. Oh, whoa. and so some." people just like for the love of science, they yeah, was just, just in the building because it's like we about to do, we about to physically do what we've been theorizing for, for like decades, for decades, yeah. right? And then other people like knew, like, no, nah, we we're doing this, this to destroy weapon. the world, yeah, and we gonna be able to really just like take a chunk out the earth. Whoa, yeah, and so then. Uh, some you know, like I can't remember the timeline because the movie jumps all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's eventually a time where he's having a conversation. I think, but I'm thinking it's after they already dropped it, where he's like, "We can't, we got to be like, we ain't never doing this again." And Eisenhower was like, "No, I want people to know I got my hand on the button. Whoa, get out, get out the Oval Office, get them out of here." Dang. Yeah. So then, like. And he was like a celebrity. He was like on the on the cover of Time magazine and stuff. Oh my god! But then, like you know, but then people started to turn and be like, "Nah, is this so good?" And then they had all these hearings and stuff because they thought, you know, because because the Cold War popped off yeah. after World War Two. So right. then it's like, all right, we, you know, we all got bombed. We appreciate the bomb, but yeah. hey, if you if you on their side, we need to know that we're gonna lock you up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. I've also and so then and and then Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only podcast where you'll go, you'll get a history lesson right after a flawless Gucci Mane. <laughs> I don't think there's any other podcast that's doing that. If I'm being honest, <laughs> no, these are the podcasts. That, now, now I am Gucci. <laughs> Yep, these other podcasts they ain't doing that, dog. That's that's why we got Shana getting the building, dude. Man. I, I, Shana, you do any impressions? I can get into Trump sometimes. They're telling us the Rob Ed podcast. We're at the. You're not laughing, so I feel like it's bad. <laughs> I didn't know I needed to laugh. No, that's fair. I was actually going to try to like counter Trump. With Mr. Obama's here. With, uh, <laughs> I like how Trump's starting to say my middle name. Robert Hayes. It's always like Barack Hussein Obama. It's like if you just say Obama, people know who you're talking about. We love we love Mr. Hussein, don't we, folks? <laughs> Our first Muslim president is Muslim. He's Muslim and he's very crooked. <laughs> he's very dishonest, Mr. Obama. Do you do this on stage? I slipped into it once, and uh, it was a lot it's of a fun. Drug? <laughs> yeah, it, I feel it calling me like the, the uh, Green Goblin mask every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bombing. I'll look at the t- I'll look at my notebook and then it, all the other. <laughs> <Trump>. <laughs> Dude, 
good round. You know you want to. <laughs> I'll, I'll be bombing. I'll look at my notebook, and then all of my uh, jokes just turn, and it just says Trump voice. Every time I would do a Trump joke, I wouldn't do the Trump voice. I would that's, do, that's I powerful. would do my voice. That's and great. I would just be Trump. That's great. But then it would just be kind of like. People I don't know. Are, people, people are jonesing for the voice. Well, I They're don't think so. It. I think that I think it would it would like certify like for me this joke is hitting. Oh, yeah, I always absolutely. Wondered if it would hit more or less if I did it with the Trump voice. I think if you don't do it with the voice, then you've you've uh, solidified yes that the writing is superseding the need yeah. for an impression. Right, right, right. Yeah, like the you've made a good enough dish without copying the but, original thing. When Trump started, I don't, I'm not good at getting a handle. When somebody else has a handle on an impression, yeah. I'm really good at like mimicking another handle. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, it's very hard for me to like create the handle. But I've never seen a Gucci man. That was pretty, that came out of nowhere. Because a lot of people don't, they don't <laughs> got an opportunity to go. Mr. Goo Up, we love your work. <laughs> We were wondering if you'd be interested in coming on to the RNC campaign. We've had little John. He's I'm, I'm crossed not, the not line. With all that. Me, me and Walker ain't taught the years. Please, we would love for you to put aside the beef. Get the Rari boys back together. No, no, no. The rooster <laughs> my Rari, not a Republican rooster. <laughs> we love, but <laughs> I understand the rooster in your Rari. <laughs> we love the rooster in the Rari. <laughs> oh, man. I used to look at this song Walker had where he was like, I take your uh take your brother shopping. Take what? Brother shopping. <laughs> That's nice. I'm super straight. I got that super cake. I used to love that song. I don't even know that one. The, he's he's bragging about taking your brother shopping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Take your brother shopping. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, if my sister meets Waka, we going shopping, bro. Now, I don't know where Waka shops because he only wears undershirts. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm going to have so many undershirts. I'm going to have some, some fly undershirts, crispy white undershirts. And probably maybe a new air hat. You know, like a double up uh, undershirt. Yeah. You know, he doesn't wear. He wears an undershirt under the undershirt. Yeah, he's got two undershirts. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. an under undershirt. <laughs> right. Some are underclothes. Some are overclothes. I, I like that. If you're the brother in the song, you're like, <laughs> huh, cool. I get to go. I get to go. I get to go. And of course, the brother's last, right? I yeah. take your best friend shopping. Nice. That's like, all right. That's a baller move. Wait, all right, what, what are you trying to pull? You trying to pull a threesome? <laughs> take your mama shopping. Oh, he's Wholesome just a guy. nice guy. <laughs> take your brother shopping. I've never <laughs> rapped songs. Hell yeah, dude. I never rapped songs. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also love that he said this, and he probably just like now he has to commit to right, getting right. the brother shopping. Like, no, Walker, you said you said it right here. You said, <laughs> uh huh, yeah, uh huh. Yep, that's me. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I, I I'm right here. That's me. I, was... I have a few things on my list, and I called shotgun, <laughs> and I called shotgun. So mom, you have to sit in the back. Mom, mom get in the back. Sister, mom, get in the back. Andrea, and Cynthia, you have to sit in the back. <laughs> I'm in the front with, oh, with yeah, Waka. Best friend? <laughs> yeah. It's me and Waka, baby. We're, we're the Rari boys. <laughs> we're the Rari boys today. And I'm the rooster. <laughs> I never knew what that is. Is that like drugs? That's got to be drugs, I don't know. right? Rooster my Rari? Or, or a gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably yeah. like a. I don't know. Could, could, do, do we have uh, anyone in here that was. <laughs> Prevalent in the Atlanta drug trade that would maybe be able to. Be able to I thought it was a bird, but it might be it might be a gun. Yeah, I feel yeah. like a, a gun in my car is a common theme. Yeah, that sounds yeah, like such yeah. a cop now. Pay for what, girl? You better pay for this dick. Whoa! Exciting. Wait, <laughs> wait. Uh huh. Is Waka sex work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's talking about his cock. <laughs> Whoa. Rooster. Whoa. <laughs> Joe Cox is hanging out with Waka. Joe, this is Joe Cox's favorite song. <laughs> is Waka a sex worker is a fantastic question. Because he really made it seem like he was working. Right. 
Yeah, sex hey. workers work. Waka is a sex worker. <laughs> sex workers work. Hey, if you hey, pay for what? Excuse me, you're gonna pay for this. You yeah, just yeah. An hour. Uh, yeah, call me from back page. <laughs> I know you weren't expecting multi platinum rapper, but still, you get what you pay for, lady. I'm here and I fit all the criteria. I have all of my paperwork. Come on. <laughs> We're... I, the rooster's in the rock. <laughs> the rooster's in the rock. Right? <laughs> and I'm talking about this weenie. <laughs> Sonic, uh, anything you want to promote for the people? Anything you want to let them know about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I, I got to ask this question on podcast and I never have a cool answer. Okay, okay. If you're in New York City, Sonic's taking over your city. Okay. <laughs> you, you see comedy when somebody barks on you in Times Square? Buy the tickets. Yeah. Get scammed. Sonic's going to be there. I'm there. He's going to entertain you. I'm there barking and I'm on <laughs> stage. <laughs> If you, see, if you see Shonic walking down the street in New York, he's passing out a flyer, to then the definitely go to that show because <laughs> you're going to be thoroughly entertained. Also, it's probably going to be cheaper than the, the show that Ticket you go to you. where they they not on the street. They're not on the so, street. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shonic, he's, he's going to take the world by storm <laughs> very soon. Yeah, well, this is better than I was going to say. Thank you. All right. That's great. You got, you, got a, you got a podcast or something? You got you got a web series? You got a uh, uh no, just find yeah. me on Instagram, Shonic G. Shonic Everything's G. Don't on tell there. in San Diego with Robert, with me. Yeah, see, that was fantastic. The people don't see who else is on the show. No, they don't really We're care. That like, like they could see. There's the one full... nerd being like, "Oh, the backgrounds are matching." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wee. That guy's got that guy's chocolate thirsty, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of this episode. Right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Let us let us be listening. This podcast, your chocolate thirsty, blink our line, Robbie's podcast. <laughs> if you are in Moscow, Idaho, yes. then come see me at the Moscow Comedy Festival headlining uh, this weekend. Also, if you're in Denver, I'll be in Higher Plains. Uh, this has been the Inconsistent Podcast with Rob Hayes. Let's go. That was so much fun, buddy. That was awesome. That was a very fun time. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. It's a blast.